Pop quiz. Which HID color is brighter? 4000K, 6000K, or 10,000K? If you don't know the answer, you gotta watch this video. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about how an HID gets its color and what changes when you go from a 35 watt ballast to a 55 watt ballast. There are three main things that you probably don't know about HIDs and their color and their brightness. The first one is, how do they get their color? A lot of people are confused about the Kelvin scale, 3000K, 4000K, 6, 8, 10,000K, and 12,000K, K for Kelvin. Well, the way that HID bulbs get their color is inside the HID bulb, there's a little glass capsule, and inside there, it's filled with a mixture of chemicals and metal salts. Engineers that produce the HID bulbs can change the color by changing the mixture of the chemicals inside. And then the second thing that attributes to the color is your ballast. Most HID bulbs have a tag on the cord and you can see it says 35 watt, 5,000 K, and then the bulb type, this one happens to be 9,007. What they're saying is at 35 watts, the chemical mixture inside this bulb creates a 5,000K color. It doesn't mean this bulb is only rated at 35 watts. You can actually put a 45 watt, a 50 watt, or a 55 watt HID ballast to power this bulb and it's still gonna work. The tag on the bulb that says 35 watt, 5,000K is just talking about color. At 35 watts, this bulb creates 5,000K color. If you take a 35 watt ballast, like this Hilux Slim Ballast from GTR Lighting, you're gonna get the right color that's on the label of the bulb. So here we have 12,000K purple, 10,000K deep blue, 8,000K iceberg blue, 6,000K diamond white, 5,000K pure white, 4,300K OEM white, and all the way at the end, 3,000K golden yellow. If you're using a 35 watt ballast, that means that the ballast only draws 35 watts of power, and that's in relation to how bright the bulb gets, but it also means at 35 watt ballast power, your bulbs are gonna look how they're supposed to look. You can put a 45, a 50, or a 55 watt ballast on your bulbs too, and all that's gonna happen is they're gonna get brighter, and the color's gonna get washed out. If you do a more powerful Hilux ballast, you're gonna go from maybe a 10,000K color, and that same bulb will do 8,000K. Every time you increase the wattage of the ballast powering your bulb, the color shifts down. So a 6,000K bulb will look more like a 5,000K. A 5,000K bulb will look more like a 4,300K. The other thing that's gonna happen is brightness increase. You're gonna get about a 50% brightness increase by going from a 35 watt ballast to a 55 watt ballast. So the 8,000K HID bulb is gonna go from 1,000 maximum lux at 25 feet to 1,500 maximum lux at 25 feet. But the color's gonna shift to a 6,000K color. Just because your HID bulb says 10,000K or 12,000K doesn't mean that it's brighter. These two, 4,300K and 5,000K, are the two brightest options, both on 35 watt ballast power and 55 watt ballast power. If you go to the 3000K color, you lose brightness. If you go to 6, 8, 10, or 12,000K, you lose brightness also, and it gets worse the further up the scale you go. Look, the color of the sun is 5,800K. That's 5,800 Kelvin. And it's the brightest light source that we know of. When it comes to HID and LED lighting, the further you deviate from that 5,800K natural light, the less usable light you get. When you get down to 3000K, it's getting closer to the infrared spectrum of light, the red and the yellows. When you get up to 10,000, 
and 12,000K, you're getting up closer to the ultraviolet spectrum of usable light. So it makes sense. Can you see ultraviolet? No. Can you see infrared? No. So you gotta stick to the middle. I don't mind if you want to do an 8,000K or a 6,000K HID kit personally if you want to get a certain bluish color, but just know what you're getting into. Just because it's a higher Kelvin rating doesn't mean it's going to be brighter. We back these projectors up to 25 feet from the wall, use a digital lux meter to measure actual usable brightness at the maximum intensity of the hotspot of each beam, and we tested the difference in light output and color between 35 watt and 55 watt ballasts. The 3000K Golden HID measured 350 maximum lux with the 35 watt ballast. It jumped up to 490 maximum lux with 55. Aside from about a 50% increase in brightness, the color shifted. Next up is the 4300K HID bulb. At 35 watts, this thing came in at 1070 maximum lux. That's three times brighter than the 3000K. When we put a 55 watt ballast on it, it jumped up to 1510 maximum lux. The 5000K HID bulb at 25 feet came in at 1140 maximum lux with a 35 watt ballast. When we powered it with a 55 watt ballast, it jumped up to 1430 maximum lux. The 6000K HID bulb created 986 maximum lux with a 35 watt ballast and it looks like a 6000K color. And when we put the 55 watt ballast on it, it jumped up to 1350 maximum lux, but the color shifted down, looked more like a 5000K. The 8000K HID bulb came in at 970 maximum lux. This was a surprisingly small step from the 6000K we just tested. Even though it's significantly more blue in color, the brightness didn't change a whole lot in this test. When we put a 55 watt ballast behind the 8K bulb, the brightness jumped to 1340 maximum lux, and the color shifted down to look like a 6000K bulb. The 10,000K blue HID came in at a maximum brightness of 750 lux with a 35 watt ballast. When we put the 55 watt ballast on, it jumped up a little bit to 890. Lastly, this 12,000K purple HID made 420 maximum lux with a 35 watt high lux ballast. This 12,000K purple bulb is the second worst brightness of the bunch. When we gave it 55 watts, the brightness jumped to 570. So what did you learn? You put a 55 watt ballast on a bulb and the color changes. You put a 55 watt ballast on a bulb and the brightness increases. 12,000K is junk. 10,000K is really not bright and the best colors are in the middle. I got another pop quiz question for you. Why do we use Kelvin, the K numbers, which is a temperature scale to describe color? If you don't know that, go check out the other video where we go into that information in depth. I hope you learned something. I'm Chris with Headlight Revolution. If you have any questions, reach out to us at headlightrevolution.com. If you wanna see product reviews for automotive lighting, comparisons, or more education like this one, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss what we come out with next.